Some people think that a glow key on a hardware keyboard for an iPad is just a thing you press when you want to bring up the emoji selection tool, but the glow key does so much more than that. And in this video, I'm going to show you 10 keyboard shortcuts involving the globe key that are going to turn you into a power user. So if you have a keyboard case connected to your iPad, so for example, the Magic Keyboard or the Logitech Combo Touch, you'll notice in the bottom left hand corner, you have this globe key. And you may have used it to change emojis or bring up the emoji selection tool in the past. But it does a lot more than that. And it's really good for keyboard shortcuts, ones that are really easy to remember. So I want to show you 10 keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to turn you into a bit of a power user. But before that, I want to show you how you can set up a globe key if you don't have one. So for example, if you're using a separate hardware keyboard and you don't have that globe key, I'm going to show you how to change it so that you can turn the control key for example, into your globe key and you can use all these keyboard shortcuts, which is how I've got it set up. So let me show you how to do that. So what you need to do is you need to open settings and you need to go to general and you'll see under here, if, you're, if your hardware keyboard is connected, you have an option called hardware keyboard. And what you can do then under this menu is you're going to go to modifier keys. You're going to select that. And then what you can do is you can set one of the different modifier keys to be the globe key. So for example, as you can see here, I've tapped on control because I don't really use the control key. So I've tapped on control and I've set that to be my globe key instead. So in order to access these shortcuts, if you don't have a magic keyboard, you can still just convert the, con the control key into your globe key. Anyway, let's talk about some of those keyboard shortcuts. So the first keyboard shortcut I want to show you is how to invoke Siri. And um, if you want to do that without saying the trigger word, you can do that with a keyboard shortcut. If you hold down your globe key and press S for Siri, it brings up Siri. The second keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is for Control Center. Control Center is what happens if you swipe down from the top right of the screen to bring up those icons. And you can do that without moving your hands. You can do that using a keyboard shortcut. If you hold down globe and press C, it comes up just like that. Really easy. At number three, we have Notification Center. You're going to hold down the globe key and press which key? I think you can guess it. N for notifications. Done. Coming in at number four is if you want to use quick notes. And I think you can guess where this is going. If you hold down globe and press Q, it'll bring up quick notes um, in the bottom corner of the screen. So you can type or use your Apple Pencil. Right, a quick note. Shortcut number five is for those situations where you have an app open on your screen and you want to view or hide the dock. If you hold down the globe key and A, it will show the dock and if you press it again it will hide the dock. Shortcut number six is when you want to view your entire app library. It's a slightly modified version of the last shortcut I showed you. You're going to hold down globe, shift and then A. And it'll bring up your app library for you. Keyboard shortcut number seven is to enable dictation. This is where you can speak to your iPad and it will take what you're saying and convert it into text. And to do that you hold down globe and then press D for dictation. Hello there, how's it going? Coming in at number eight is a shortcut if you want to get straight to your home screen, and that's by holding down globe and H for home screen. The ninth keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is how to get access to the app switcher. This is where you can view all of your currently opened apps in one space, and you can tap on it to open it. So to do that, you hold down globe and you press up. And the final keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is how to basically swipe between your different apps by using your keyboard. So if you hold down the globe key and press left, you can switch between your different apps that you have open. And finally, if you're having trouble remembering some of these keyboard shortcuts, let me show you two really quick tips. First of all, with an app open, if you hold down the command key, you'll be able to view a list of keyboard shortcuts for that app. It brings up a menu and you can swipe between them. And from any app or from the home screen, if you hold down the globe key, it will show you a list of keyboard shortcuts related to the system, uh, multitasking and stage manager. So that's the end of this video showing you how amazing the globe key is and hopefully you got some really useful keyboard shortcuts out of that. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to leave a tip, then we have a super thanks button here on YouTube. We also have a buy me a coffee page at buymeacoffee.com forward slash buzzkill. We have a shop at buzzkill.shop. And finally, we do have now a members section where you can sign up through YouTube to get access to exclusive content and courses that I'm offering just through the member section. 
So if you like that, please check that out. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another video.